Hey guys, bringing you another key replacement video today. I'm working on a Lenovo IdeaPad, and I'm gonna show you how to replace one of the large keys, enter, shift, space, uh, one of those larger keys. If you're looking for the normal size letter key, check out the description below. There'll be a link there on how to replace one of those keys. Uh, they're separate videos because obviously they're gonna look a little different underneath when you get in there. Now to quickly recap why we're doing this, uh, this computer has a French inset keyboard. Uh, what that means is the keyboard is not held on by screws. You cannot easily replace it independent of the palm rest. Um, in order to replace this, you basically have to break it from the palm rest and the replacement keyboard will never be as secure. Uh, so it's not considered an ideal repair. So as often as possible, I choose to replace keys versus the entire keyboard. Um, if you cannot find loose keys for sale online, uh, consider buying a used keyboard and then keeping that for parts, taking keys off uh, as you need them. So I'm going to show you how to take a key off safely today and then how to install it safely without breaking it. So to start with, I'm going to take my small flathead screwdriver and I'm going to slide it underneath my keycap, which is this top part, but I'm going to get it on top of the retainer clip underneath. And the idea there is to hold down the retainer clips while I peel off this cap so that they don't bend and break. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll show you what it looks like under there once I get this cap off. Okay, so as you can see that came off fairly easily and as you can see my flathead screwdriver is holding down those white plastic clips. So I'm going to put that key cap off to the side. This is what you're looking at underneath uh, most of these larger keys. You're looking at your normal rubber spring in, in the center. It's held on by glue. Really try not to rip that off. They're very hard to get down. You're looking at a couple white or black. Get this out of the way. My screw. Oh, I'm driver's magnetized, so it's being a pain in the butt. Uh, you're looking at a couple white or black plastic retainer clips, and then you're looking at one or, or two metal stabilizer bars. This one runs along the top, this one here ran along the bottom. So in order to get this out, the stabilizer bars come out easy enough. They, they're pretty uh, free-flowing in there, they slide back and forth. They're put into holes on either side. Just take one, slide it out of the hole, slide the other end out of the hole, and that comes out fairly easily. Uh, same thing with the bottom. Now, in order to get these retainer clips up, they're a little more tricky. Now, most of them are held in the same way. They're either held in by four metal pins near all four corners, or they're held in one side uh, by a metal bracket in, in the center. So you'll either have four near the corners or, or three, two near the corners, one in the middle. Now the idea is to find the pins that are closest to the edge. So in my case, it's these on top. What I'm going to do, I'm going to press on the bottom with my thumbnail, try to get as much give as I can, while I slowly, gently try to pry this out from under the metal pin. Now this is very hard to do. This is the worst part. If you do break this pin, it'll probably be here. Um, and I'll show you why once I get this out. So I'm just going to push on that. Try to pry that up. That side's up. I think I did it without breaking it. Okay, so it looks like my two uh, retainer clips came out separately, which is okay. It's not necessarily broken. They're a two part clip, so let me. Zoom in on that for you. So if this happens to you, I'm, I'm, I'm actually glad it happens so you can see. Uh, the retainer clip is made of two parts and they're held together by these two little plastic pins on either side. Those two plastic pins fit into holes here. So if it does come apart, as long as those two pins are not broken, you can get them back together. So I'm just gonna put those back together now. Kind of a pain because it's such a small component. So I'll slide that back in there. Okay, so be careful with that, but you can get them back together. Now, I'm going to spin this around. Hopefully you can see that. Those two little holes, one on this corner, one on that corner, that's what was being held underneath those metal pins. Very thin, very flimsy, very breakable. If I were to try to just put my screwdriver and pop those up, I'd most likely break those. So that's why you should, 
it, it's more of a prying out from under action than it is a popping it up action. So that's how, how you would get it out. So in order to put this back in now safely, we're gonna go in, in reverse. We just took the top off first, so now we're gonna put the bottom in first. We're gonna lay it down, generally where it should go. That may take you a little longer than it took me because I do this a lot. What you're going for here is to get the bottom plastic component underneath its two metal pins first. And once it's centered and, and secure on the bottom, you should just be able to push on top and snap those into place. Just like that. So now that that's in place, we're, we're gonna make sure that our stabilizer bars, we're gonna take that top one, slide it into the hole on the left, into the hole on the right, lay that down, try to, and, it, and again, it's, it's pretty loose, it doesn't snap into place. So get that as centered as possible. Do the same if, if you have a second one. Some of the smaller ones may not, like if you're doing the, the enter key, that may not have, have two bars. Okay, so it looks like my top is centered, looks like my bottom is centered. And this may take a few tries again, because those are just free flown and they, you gotta snap them in. But then you put your cap on and then press it in place, snap it in. Okay, so mine went on first try, so that's good. Uh, but again, you may take a few tries because especially with those metal bars, uh, they, they, they have a lot of uh, room to play in there, so they may not be perfectly lined up. So if you get it snapped in and it feels cockeyed, half snapped in, half didn't, just take your flathead again, go in there, safely take it off again, try lining everything up and then snapping it down, and, and you will eventually be able to get it, uh, assuming neither retainer clip has been damaged. That's how you would fix a larger key on a Lenovo IdeaPad. Uh, please like and share if it was helpful. Subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. And if you had any questions or comments through this process, check the frequently asked questions below. Uh, and if you don't see your question, leave me a comment. I'll try to get back to you a few times a day at least. Thanks so much for watching, guys.